Hey guys, uh, today we're going to talk about um, how to enable the Office 365 or Azure authentication for your uh, content that is published to the cloud, um, both within your organization and also for uh, external customers. So on your, uh, on your content cloud access, you can set your content um, to private, which will be required for this. And by default, it's just your domain that uh, is able to log in here. So what you want to do is you want to add sign-in provider and let's use Office 365 and that's it. So please mind you that when you set this now, it's going to mean that everyone using Office 365 from mne.net, they will be able to, uh, to sign in and see the content. If you add other domains here, like uh, one of your customer's domain or a partner's domain or whatever, then they can also log in with Office 365 for their content. If you remove the domain and only have Office 365, well, then that is the requirement. Then you only need Office 365 to authenticate with the content that anyone in the world, I guess, could then sign in and see your content as long as they have an Office 365 account. So um, consider how you set it up. Still though, they would need the link to the content. It's not something they can find with a search engine or anything like that. So they would actually need the link. Let's go ahead and uh, produce this and I'll show you how the differences are. All right, the content has been uh, produced. Let's go ahead and publish it. There we go. So by default, um, what the users will see is this. This is a default setup where you have your, um, you click on account and then you have uh, the, the four default services. So Office 365, Facebook, Google, and LinkedIn. Um, the new, changes we just did to the authentication it will look like this. This is all they'll see now. They only see one button. Nothing else to confuse them. This is all they'll see. They'll click on it and they will uh, then enable them to sign in with Office 365. So for uh, tips and tricks, um, I would probably recommend that you consider um, that you consider um, like if this should be the only option, right? Because some people, some people may want to log in with uh, with another authentication method. Um, for example, they clicked on logins, and also um, keeping the content private uh, is actually a great opportunity to track users. Even though, of course, it's a little bit of a nuisance that they have to actually authenticate themselves, uh, but it's a good idea if you want to actually track who's who and what they're doing and stuff like that. Um, so, uh, so that's quite nice. Now, moving on, externally, um, you may consider splitting up your portal. So you have multiple uh, projects, uh, one for example for internal stuff, one that has the customer facing stuff. So you can add additional login methods. So you can, they can use both of 65 and perhaps uh, LinkedIn or Facebook or whatever they want. Um, and of course, uh, Please consider that not all companies have Office 365 or will allow them to uh, use it uh, to authenticate with the Clipton Cloud. Um, and uh, then, of course, uh, like we said, uh, like I said, when we looked at the um, the setup for the for authentication and the domains, you want to consider if you want this to be any domain that has Office 365 or just specific domains or uh, or what have you. But yeah, thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope, uh, hope you found this useful. And uh, as always, just uh, leave comments on the community if you have any more questions.